Hello there, my name is Cameron Hazewood, or Iceman V5, whichever. And uh, today I've got a, another project that I've done for my Roblox and Automations program. And this is a PLC programming project that I've done, so something different from VB. And I've got a pen here that I'm going to use for the cursor, to make things a little bit easier. So uh, there we go, transition right. So, here we go. Uh, what I've got here is I've got uh, I've got a few oh my god sorry a few subroutines here. I've actually got a third one, but that one's not important because it doesn't do anything aside from just something fun to do. So uh, I'll go ahead and describe what I've got here. This one wrong here is in the main routine. I could have put it in any one of these two, but I felt it's more fitting here. And this is the cycle active. And what that is, is um, it, it turns the light on to uh, basically start the whole uh, process of um, the uh, of uh, the assembly here. Or, well, it's more of a... Well, it's not really an assembly. It's more of just uh, sending parts down the line to get stamped. So, And I'll show that. Uh, in a bit. So I'll g briefly just describe what this what this code does. This controls the pick in place uh, cylinder. So it will go when a part is at the pickup sensor, it will uh, lower to pick it up with a magnet, um, raise back up, go over and then down again to drop the part off at a scale. So that's what I've got all going on here. And the stamp will send the stamp code here will send that part from the scale down to uh, to where the stamp sensor is. The stamp will lower and lower and retract, and it will send the part down, indicating that it's complete. So here we go. Here we go. Let's hope I can get this. In. So as you can see, this lowers. Oops, it this lowers, picks it up bring it over here, and then drop it there. This just indicates that the, the in-feed conveyor there stopped, uh, stopped. And that yellow light there is to indicate that the, uh, the stamping process is complete. And uh, as for that other code, you can take a look at it if you want. Essentially, this is what it is. Basically, just a lab three prep because I was bored. So yeah, I did modify the simulator file so that this is a little more accurate. Other than that, then this works a okay. So that's about it. Thank you for watching.